Retransmission, Segment 3, Acquiring Contemporaneity. It has been 95 days since the great catastrophe. The messenger speaks. You must be wondering why I have reached out to you. It was written, you see, that you would come to this particular chamber at this very moment in time. The walls told us of your coming when we once were. Look at them. Are they not fascinating? These walls tell of a tragic story. A story we transcribed on our structures, on our artifacts. A story we cannot alter. A mystery defying us in plain sight. We tried. Our scholars and scientists, poets and physicists, bright minds, rebellious hearts, They all tried so hard to bring about change. They, we all failed. None could change what we discovered, the stories written into the walls of these rooms. By whom, we never knew. We know they tell of the future that is, the future that was, and the future that is yet to come. We failed at modifying the line. We failed at adding a single dot. It was clear we were to be messengers at best. But messengers to whom? To you. We removed our ability to read those stories from your original template. A doorway that is also a puzzle. We must find the solution. Those were Brutus's words when he visited the vault under the Colosseum more than 2,000 years ago. He drew the vault, sketched it to the best of his abilities, but he could not see. Just as you are blind, you may read your watch, you may read hourglasses and calendars, but you cannot grasp beyond that simplistic surface. For now, the true reading of time still escapes you. And so today, the curtains pulled and the eros is shown, tragic and complete. Those walls you might never read. Events yet unfold as written. But something, anything must change. You do not understand what is at stake. The reader has no power. He is but an observer. But the author? The author invents the future. The author owns the future. A future where zeros are avoided. A future where a loved one can be revived by the drafting of a new chapter. A future where humankind is more than it is today. A future where, just perhaps, we can all still exist together.
Welcome to Mered's Wares, traveler. Well, what do you think? Junk. Be off, then. Ah, uh, I haven't finished. Are you blind? I've nothing left to show you. But you've much to tell me. About the hyena. Ah, funny. As it turns out, that happens to be the most expensive thing I'm offering. <laughs> funny indeed. Delivery upon payment. Now what can you tell me? The hyena is not her real name. <laughs> easy, easy. A poor attempt at humor, I'm afraid. Where can I find her? Her name is Khaliset. My word is my word. But I've one more thing to ask of you. Ah, done with your games. All right. The hyena lives in a cavern just over those hills. Day and night she roams the desert collecting silica. Precious teardrops of the gods. What has happened to those who have interfered is best left unsaid. If I find you've led me on another futile chase, it won't be my words that hit your ears. A thousand promises. I have no reason to defy you. Khufu's tomb. She has detailed every crevice. Ah, she has not finished. Haliset was doing a ritual. She began by calling to Osiris with these offerings. She used a knife to sacrifice her captives. She collected their blood for some dark purpose. She was attempting to learn these strange symbols. She must have found them in this room. When she knew the symbols, she carved them here and ended the ritual with one final prayer over the sarcophagus. Haliset must be trying to bring someone back to life. But just who is buried down here? The child. My child! You lost your child. I haven't. Her rest is temporary. You have intervened on her reawakening. And yet you aligned yourself to the Order. Ravaged this tomb. Halicet! Don't you dare say my name! My name does not merit your lips, you who have dishonored her. I am a good mother. Now I will show you what happens to those who desecrate my daughter's tomb. Do I walk among the dead now? A just end. You defiled the dead and enabled the people who killed my son. All on a selfish whim. No. I gathered the silica for them. It powered the magic stone of those who came before. You saw it, didn't you? The symbols only needed to be learned. It is not meant for us. It makes no difference now. I wanted to protect my daughter in life and death. I have done neither. Osiris! Please grant me reunion. She walks alone in the field of reeds. Am I to remain in the Duat forever? I just want my daughter back! So, now they send a son of Egypt against me. It has been a long time since I spilled so much blood. I was sent by Apollodorus. We share a common interest. Who are you? And what do you want, eh? I'm Bayek Siwa, and I seek information on the crocodile. The phantom that has brought Fion to its knees. What could you want with him? He belongs to a group that is destroying Egypt. I intend to hunt every last one of them down. Bayek of Siwa. You don't know what you are up against. 
The crocodile has transformed not only the land, but the people. Those who do not cower in fear are made to work for him. And you have no idea who the crocodile is? I stole a ledger from a Greek magistrate I suspect of corruption. It should reveal the identity of this crocodile. And if we get it to Apollodorus, we may be able to bring down the whole organization. Where's the ledger now? I gave it to my wife Henut to hide. As long as the Ptolemies think it's with me, my family is safe. That is why I have to stay on the move. Here. This will tell Henut you are a friend to be trusted. It is for my daughter, Shadia. Once you have the ledger, find me at the docks south of Euhemeria. Oh, I love my new doll, Bayek. I will name her Iset, and she will be the protector of all Fayum. Ever since Hotefles got a hold of that ledger, Fayum has been on edge. Soldiers with torches patrol every night, and this aunt's kitchen was practically razed to the ground. They have left Shadia and me alone at least. Hotefres has made sure of that. Where is the ledger now? I instructed our most loyal servant to hide it in our villa. They can search the place as many times as they want. They will never find it. Can you take me there? I have been summoned to the lighthouse for another of their routine investigations. Ah, that may not be safe. The Ptolemaic authorities seem to be working with the crocodile. It happens every few days. Don't worry. They wouldn't dare touch someone in an official position. Shadia, show Bayek the way to our home. I come up here a lot. Everything looks so beautiful. The people should be happy, but they are not. Don't worry. Your mother and father will look after them. Where is your house? On the hill there. See it? Yes. And soldiers. Have you seen Hernut? Is she here? The soldiers just came and took her to the lighthouse. Young Shadia too. Hernut argued with them, but they would not listen. Something is wrong, isn't it? This has never happened before. Get word to Hotefres. Hurry! Shadia. Shadia. It is over. The crocodile has won. The ledger lost. My daughter. My Shadia. He has taken everything from us. He will pay for this. And all those who serve him. None of that will bring Shadia back. No. But at least you'll have the comfort of revenge. We both will. I hope so. I will do anything I can to help you, brother. Has he not been able to tell you anything? Only that there were other men with the soldiers. Large, imposing warriors. One red-haired. Bandits? Soldiers? I believe they were gladiators, from the arena in Crocodilopolis. It seems this... this monster uses fighters to do his bidding. I will find this monster, friend. He will die.
Jovikos, the living embodiment of war. Lidovics, the loyal servant of death. Bayek? My friend! My brother! Shit, it's good to see you. What are you doing in Fayum? I heard this was a good place to, to prosper. Hmm? <laughs> but I never expected to find you here, Kensa. <laughs> what can I say? I heard the call of the arena. <laughs> can you believe it? I am a gladiator now. Huh? <laughs> but come, come. Let us talk. And drink. <laughs> Tell you, Bayek, I am so close to my dream. If only I was given the chance, I know I could become champion. I mean wealth, luxury, fame. What more could a woman want? Huh? That's why I came to Fayum. To make a new life for myself and bury the past. But I was turned away from the arena doors. <laughs> So you have finally given up trying to put the world to rights. Good. Such things are impossible. Felix is slow to trust outsiders. But do not worry. With my backing, we'll soon be fighting side by side. First, we drink. And in the morning, we can go to the arena for the proper introductions. Eh, it's good to have you here, old friend. I want this man to be my partner. As it happens, the Iberian was torn apart by lions yesterday. I may have an opening. And if Kensa vouches for you? You will need a title if you're going to team up, though. How about the C1 warriors? I think the guardians of Siwa would be more fitting. Is that memorable enough for you? I have heard worse. Come inside. These are the scraps that Felix wants to throw our way. <laughs> they make a poor meal, my brother. <laughs> I'm going to slice off your balls and feed them to you. Our main obstacle to glory, the Gallic brothers. I know who they are. Victory for the Guardians of Siwa! The new darlings of the arena! Who knows how far they can go? The Guardians of Siwa are victorious once again! Could the Gallic Brothers be next? I am sorry I left you to fight alone, but I hear you did me proud. Felix sent you out on a job. Who was it for? I'll tell you everything in good time, brother. Just know that our future has never looked brighter. chance to seize the mantle of champions. Felix awaits! Here are the contenders to the crown! The Guardians of Siwa! On the 
defeated, unmatched, it's the Garlic Brothers! The Gallic brothers are defeated! You killed the child called Shadia! That is the least you no, deserve! The lighthouse! Uh, we didn't kill her, I swear! We have done many terrible things, Siwan, but the murder of the child is not one of them! All hail the new champions! We were there! The guardians through. of Siwan! So captured the girl and take her to Veronique! To, to the crocodile! It was she who drowned the child, took a book from her, ordered a stone tied to her ankles, and pushed her in the water. There was nothing we could do. This is the real reason you came to me, isn't it? To uncover this patron, this crocodile. Bayek, why didn't you confide in me? Huh? I would have helped you. You're a mercenary, just no. like them. I couldn't take the chance. What fate awaits the fallen? No. Will it be life? Bayek. Or death. You know me better than... Death. Bayek, you have to know! Berenike. She is the crocodile. She is the one who kills Sharia. She is the one who has brought ruin to so many. She calls herself the sponsor of Fayum's prosperity and culture. And her influence is felt throughout the region. Her wealth comes from her estate north of the city, Kerkesucha Granary, the largest in all of Egypt. She has arranged a symposium with others of influence in Fayum. Every night, she retires to her villa, where she courts their favor with bribes and silvered words. Then that is where I will find her. Thank you for everything, my friend. What will you do now? I will retire to our family villa. I need a drink. Henut and I must mourn in peace. Farewell, Bayek. Once you have done what you must, we would be glad to see you again. Shadia! Murdered by one of you. Shadia. Who? Shadia! She was the child you drowned! Like all of your kind, you failed to see what greatness lies in store for Egypt. Is that what you tell yourself? You do not remember those you killed. She was the child of Henot and Hotefres. Henot was a stubborn rock. That ledger would have meant the end to all our hopes. You destroyed families. <laughs> I did what had to be done. I will destroy everything you stand for, Berenike! And I will destroy all others like you! But for now, all that matters is that you killed Shadia! And the last word you will remember is her name! Shadia! Perhaps we forgot some part of the ritual. I will vomit if I hear more. Have no doubt of this. If our child dies, I die. No, my lotus, do not speak like that. I must go to the seer's house. Leave me be. I priest. Ah, ah, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, uh... I have come to seek the lizard. Oh, the lizard. One more affliction for Memphis. The city withers in the darkness of a curse. Disease, 
pestilence, the poison stink of the air. The ape is ghoul sickened nearly unto death. Gods have abandoned us. The people look to me for guidance, but I am as lost as they. Push! <laughs> Pash, the, the curse touches even my own house. My wife, Time Hotep, has miscarried three times this year. She is with child again, but if, if she loses a fourth. <laughs> hey. I will look into this curse. My wife's seer can help. His house is to the southwest. If the gods are responsible, I will kneel beside you as they strike us down. Oh, oh light, come forth, oh light. <sighs> My child. Oh. You have come at last. Who is this man? He is the Deliverer. Many years I have waited for him. What? Quick! Help me dream my child away from death! Let us proceed with the ritual. Sothis! Reveal yourself here today and answer me without falsehood. Let your eyes be opened. Devoid of moisture, come forth from the stream. Sothis, let their eyes be opened. Let your eyes be opened. Lost.
have traveled through the tomb. Dark and lonely ground. I am here now. I have come. Father! They are returned, safe from him, who would close their eyes in darkness. My child leaves. Praise to the gods. What do you see? Your enemy and hers are the same. Refuse. The temple food, he who prepares it, poisons your womb with flesh of the dead. Go and slay the poisoner and lift Memphis out of evil. Praise to him who will deliver us all. Aya. My love. Are you well? Uh, better for seeing your face. There is a strangeness in your eyes. What afflicts you? Dreams. Of our son. Bayek. The high priest's wife has been poisoned. Her seer claims that her poisoner is our enemy. The lizard? I believe so. The Apis Bull is also at the point of death. Let's go to the temple. We can speak more of your dreams on the way. Where should we begin? Check the gods' enclosure. I'll speak to the priestesses. Ah, uh, of course. Give me the dung heap job. Hey, do you feed the Apis Bull? No. Them girl priestesses take care of all of that. Do you know where his father is kept? In that building over by the stairs. But they shut it up last week when the bull got sick. My thanks. It's a subtle way of poisoning an animal. My sisters, this is surely an accident. A one, maybe. But not a bushel. We had to save Pantratis! Hey. <clears throat> Who? Our brother! Bandits ripped him away from us as we walked in the market. They forced us to poison the god. They told us they were going to feed our brother to crocodiles in the sweet. We have not slept through the night since. I'm so sorry. We had no choice. We never... Something's wrong. These are not curses. The order is surely behind this. I prefer to spare my sisters the ugliest details of my story. Of course. The man who ordered my abduction is a priest of Anubis at the Great Temple. A priest in Pasharemta's circle. How can I find him? He wears a blue scarf and has a terrible cough. The lizard. He is marked. Pantratis! Are you hurt? Did they mistreat you? They kept me tied up. Fed me little but crusts of bread fit for beggars. So? This is the lizard's work. And so I must stain my hands with another priest's blood. The order is everywhere. To protect Egypt, I would kill a thousand priests. You and I are pledged to violence. Now. And always. As they rule, the gods curse our land, withholding the river's floods. But 
As the living goddess ascends the throne, the waters will rise again. Through me, Memphis shines as rubies set in gold. Through me, Egypt triumphs. I cannot lose them. They must know my voice is that of the goddess. My queen. The Apis bull persists in ailing. We have found the cause of his sickness. He was poisoned. Who did this? The twin priestesses. Have them boiled to death inside a bronze bull. Goddess, no. They were coerced. The brother was kidnapped by a priest of Anubis with a blue scarf and a cough. Hetepi? But he is amongst my closest advisors. Those living in one's shadow are the least worthy of trust. If even Hetepi is against me. Your wife and child were threatened by him. But now they are safe. We can overcome this. The priests of Anubis will be conducting rites in the Great Temple. Look for their masks. My blade will serve as well as his. Uh, no, I... Uh, let's me. I care not who kills the priest. Let it be done before we head to Heraklion in the north. Wait. Tanun the Father breathes strength into your arm. The priest who cursed Memphis. I serve the ways of old Egypt. <coughs> old Egypt asks a heavy price. Innocents mutilated. Children ripped from the womb. The high priest's name abused. His name was Muck before you arrived. The masses are the cattle of the gods, driven by the herdsman's whip. You are one of them, Bayek. You are a cow! It is will that drives me. Not fear. Oh, yes? And who passes the whip over your back? Who demands that you stay in your car with my death? I have my gods. Now face yours. My queen, they acted only to lift the threat on their brother's life. Curses will trouble you no more. Hetep. What could have driven him to such madness? Memphis is yours again. Ours. These dark matters settled, we can finally prepare for the festival of Apis. May demons feast on Hetepi's car. And may those guilty of Kremel's death soon follow.
It is agony to leave you, but I must go on alone. Aya! I will stand by my duty. Where will your duty take you? North, to set the sea aflame. I walk on your water. I hope we will hunt together again soon. Until then, let us take this night as ours.